Hit that like button for me. Okay, so we got Rollo. He's claiming that he's going to get out of jail. He, you know, as we know, the FBI raided him. They did a sting on him. They had a case against him for months. And they compiled, the feds usually don't arrest you until they have enough evidence against you. Well, according to Rollo, he said he's won and he's going to get out in a few months. Uh, or is, he, is he claiming an early victory? Let's get into this. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button, guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Well, let's get into the story. Make sure you smash that like button. It's free. And when you spread free love, you get free love back. You get that good luck. Anyways, let's get into this. So we got Rollo. Rollo's claiming that he is going to be a free man soon. He's been locked up for, I don't even think it's been a whole year yet. Uh, and they got him on a lot of charges. He said, I told y'all, the boy coming home this year. Court was amazing today. No arrest warrants, no search warrants, no nothing. Well, it makes sense, but I'll roll with it, okay? Because, you know, I would like to see Rollo come home. But uh, he was denied bond back in April, okay? Charged uh, in a million-dollar marijuana bust. Um, he was denied bond, like I said, and he was facing federal charges of possession of marijuana, attempted to distribute, going across, trafficking across state lines on that jet. Obviously, the jet company probably complied. 964 pounds of marijuana, okay? But he said they did illegal searches and everything, and that they didn't have all the searched records in place. So he went. It's not the, that easy with FBI. If you, if you study most, if you see most FBI cases, they have a 97 or 95 percent conviction rate. It's very hard to beat the feds. Seems like they caught him red-handed, but he might just be playing the game. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't claim victory so early. Yeah, court went great today, but you know, how is it going to go after that? Uh, the ATF was involved. I just wouldn't see them taking him until they had enough evidence against him. You know, he, he was talking crazy in the Vlad interviews and everything. So I wasn't like super shocked because he was bragging about, you know, certain things, you know, that he shouldn't have been bragging about. But hey, if the boy's coming home, the boy's coming home, you know, like I ain't against it. I'm just saying I'm shocked, but also happy for him at the same time. Uh, they offered him five years. He uh, He's expecting to win in trial. So we'll have to see. I mean, I guess their discovery, they didn't have that much. Um, also, he had 20 units of apartments. They searched all those, and they found guns and everything. Like, I thought they were going to try to get him on something else, but they were really trying to get him on this transporting of 400 pounds of weed. Maybe they weren't able to really nail him. You know, we'll have to see. Um, William Rhodes was granted seventy-five thousand dollars bond in the condition he makes no contact with Rollo. Kevin Harp should get bonds. So some of them made bond. Oh, we'll have to see, man. Uh, only time will tell with this one. Uh, a lot of people were reacting to this news, and you know, they said uh, someone said he snitched on his connection. I don't think Rollo would have done that. Um. Someone said, if you followed the case, they found out the connection and trafficking route off the rip from when his friends got arrested, which led to him. So his friend snitched on him, allegedly. Um, he better stop saying F12. That's why they were watching in the first place. He better relocate somewhere fast. Well, he, the feds got him, so it doesn't matter. He damn near caught a bigger break than T.I. and Blue Da Vinci when they beat their cases. Well, Blue Da Vinci didn't beat his case. He just copped out to lesser charges. Well, he copped out to his charges, which he served last time. Um, the feds should do not operate 100% confidence interval. This country doesn't believe in double jeopardy. With that said, I'll believe it when they release him. Me too. You know, I wanted to get released, but, I, you know, it's just, it's, I know it's hard. It's a hard case to beat. Um, anyways, guys, what do you guys think? Do you think he'll be coming home soon? Let me know in the comments below. I will check you guys. Well, I'll probably do one more. Jordan Dow with JT News. I appreciate you guys. Hit that thumbs up button and I'll check you guys later.